Hey, what's up, guys? Brando here. Today, I'll be doing this guy. Now, I'll just go. This, this guy is pretty gnarly, bumped out, blistered out. And I'll just give you guys uh, the info I've gathered on it is that the grower of these said he got him from a local his local hardware store around the area. And it was labeled as a Reaper. But he, from what he was saying, he thinks it could be possible that it's an all phenotype or, um, you know, maybe a possible cross of some sort. But to me, I'm kind of thinking and leaning towards there may be a cross or it's just a different type to all together. But it is a pretty gnarly, cool looking little pot. And. What I'll be doing today, because I won't, probably won't be able to give the exact name of this one, but I'll t t test it out and let you know what fl flavor profiles that I'm noticing. But keep in mind, one person or another, taste buds are different. So, but... Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and get to this. Oh yeah, and the grower of these is Suburban FL Gardener. And you can get a hold of them on Google Plus. If you want more info on these ones. Now, uh, it's an okay, it's a fair size pot, so, you know, pretty decent size. Doesn't feel like it's really weighty, but, with any luck, Might have a good burn to it. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys. Here we go. That's my placental tissue on this one. Ooh, I like the smell of this one. Now, it smells kind of fruity. Hmm. You can tell it's an ultra hot. Oops. Now, there's little bits of oil in there shining. But, yeah, it's got a good amount of placenta, placenta in there. Now, <clears throat> now I am picking up a floral sm smell to it. Sweet smell. And then somewhat fruity. Alright guys, I'm going to pause it and I'll be right back. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. Now, got this guy right here. About to go ahead and pop, pop this one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and eat this guy. Tell you what, what kind of notes I pick up. But from what I'm smelling of it, it smells slightly fruity. Smells like it's uh, got some type of floralness to it. And it smells like it's may maybe kind of sweet. But we'll see, okay? This one's uh, like, some, like a lot of Ultra Hots. It's fairly thin walled.
Now with the flavor on that one. There's a fruitiness in there. It is floral. And there, like I said, there is a sweetness. Now, now this almost reminded me of a seven pot uh, aftertaste, and the slight burn to it as well. Yeah, to me, I'm picking up like, like the burn for it, seems like I'm almost picking up like a seven pot, similar to Maruga. Now, some of the flavors kind of remind me of Maruga. This one is hot. It's a hot one, definitely. Now, I wouldn't be half surprised if it is a scorpion. But it's almost like I was picking up um, a seven pot flavor in there. It's definitely hot. Um, let's see. It's a de decent pod, nice pod. But uh, what I'm saying is on this one, uh, instead of going with a Reaper, I think there's possible there may be Dougla or Seven Pot. Uh, yeah, with the Seven Pot uh, type of pepper. And maybe a scorpion, I think. But because I know uh, seven pot peppers have a are good for having that fruitiness to them. And to me, with, with the way the the burn is, it is feeling like a seven pot. Because I'm feeling it on my tongue, more leaning towards the back. A little bit on the tip, but mostly it's just kind of slide, go sliding on back with the heat. Now, that was a good pepper, I'll give it that. It is a spicy one, but. Alright, you guys, if you guys want any more info on it, uh, get a hold of Suburban FL Gardener. On Google Plus and if you guys uh, got any questions comments leave it in the section below and please like subscribe share and and let's keep it spicy all right peace out later